Hey guys, today is another home day. So I wanted to take you guys along with me as I do my homemaking and share what we eat today as well as what we accomplished today. So it's 10, I've been up since like 7.30. I got up, took my doggy out, went and got the chickens out of the coop and I read and drank coffee and I got ready for the day and now I'm cooking. I'm making some delicious sourdough toast as well as some scrambled eggs with onions, green peppers, Spanish chorizo, and spinach. And I think this is all we're gonna have. Oh, and cherry tomatoes. And I just fed my sourdough starter because I would like to make some more beautiful bread for the week. I made four loaves last week and I gave my mom one. And I can't believe we're already through our three loaves. So I'll be making two loaves, um, at least starting the process today and I'll have them baked by tomorrow. So that's what I've got going on right now. My plans for today is to put the chemicals in the pool, have Ivan vacuum the pool, have Joelle roast some coffee. We're gonna read from Daniel this morning over breakfast, and we're also gonna continue in our book, Frightful Side of the Mountain, which I highly recommend, the trilogy. We're on the third book. Um, I forgot to mention, I've got some fermented peppers, basil, onions, and garlic for Hector and I. What else? Um, that's the main stuff I wanted to do today. I definitely wanna exercise, and if there's time to go to Tractor Supply, uh, I would like to go there and get a couple things, but if not, I'll save it for another day. And so that's the plan. pool bread going dinner ready the only thing I have to do is make some rice which I think I'm gonna do now because everybody's asking if we can please 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 go to the antique store and see if there's any coins so we just discovered a new antique store we're gonna go check it out um I'm just checking the coop you guys have seen my coop but I don't know if you've heard me talk about it I am so unbelievably happy with it I praise God every day when I come out here me and Hector built it it took us like in four hour increments three days um it's pretty it's called a hoop coop and we found it online uh on YouTube this couple showed how to build it basically we got two by fours and built a frame and then cattle panel three big cattle panels making it lengthwise. The great thing about this coop is that we can fit in it. We can stand in it. I remember when we had chickens before, our coop was very small. And so cleaning it was hard on my back. Um, and now it would probably be worse since I'm older. So 
I love that. I love how big it is. And it was super affordable. So after the cattle panel and the wood framing, we built a door as well. We wrapped the entire thing in chicken wire and um, put a good sturdy latch on it and little detailed things like the solar lamp and cute little signs. Inside, the boys and I built a very rustic roost, which I love. However, the chickens are not using the two bottom poles. They only like the top pole. So instead of just leaving that, I put one more uh, roost a little higher. So they definitely are on the highest roost and on this highest roost the most. And then I'm just starting to work on our nesting boxes. I need some hay and one more milk crate. And then those, I'm trying to see if it's in the, there we go. Um, those are almost ready. Here's a few. The speckled ones are the roosters. So we have two roosters and 17 hens. So far, praise the Lord, they have been safe every night and they have been safe every day. I'm so thankful. They're actually behaving exactly how we hoped they would be. We hoped that they would sleep, come to their, roost, their coop every night, which I know most chickens do that, but every now and then you have your little rebellious ones that want to find a different place to sleep. And we built it close to the woods here, hoping that they would spend their day covered in the woods, safe from hawks. And, oh, I didn't show you. The rock is to deter predators from being able to dig under. So we put rock all around the whole perimeter. So I feel so safe. It makes me just ecstatic that they're so safe. So the chickens hang out in the woods all day. There they are. <laughs> which makes me so happy. They're just like hanging out there, sleeping, cooling off. So that's exactly what we hoped for, that they would be in there eating the ticks and the weeds, safe from air predators. These woods don't connect to any other woods. So like those woods, if there was a predator, they would have to cross the whole entire pasture to get to these woods and that is very unlikely especially in the daytime so we figured obviously there's no guarantees but we figured they'd be very safe hanging out in these woods we've never seen any you know predators especially in the daytime in these woods the most we've seen are armadillos and the chicken the poor thing they're hot there's a crazy heat advisory today so they're taking their little dust baths cooling off they're so cute. You coming to check me out? So, yeah, I'm thankful that they like their little area. It's nice and cool in the shade. It's like over 100 degrees heat index. So that's a bummer. But, you know, they're going to survive. That one's like in the grass, like digging herself in the, the leaves. I have an extra water out here for them. So they have that water and the water in the coop. And they go back and forth. Here's the rooster. He's so funny. He jumps on my back every time. You gonna jump on me? You gonna jump on my back? Oh, oh. he's trying to jump on my head this time. <laughs> he just likes to show you who's boss, but he does it in a gentle way. He doesn't like do it out of meanness. Um, so those are the roosters, and praise the Lord, everybody's happy out here and safe. Most importantly, safe. Um, so we've accomplished all the stuff I wanted to get done today, but I'm supposed to work out and I really don't want to. Something I was talking to the boys about yesterday. Let me see. I thought I saw a snake or a log and I wanted to check if it was a snake, but I'm pretty sure it's just a stick. And now I don't know where I saw it. doesn't matter. I was talking to the boys yesterday about this, how the Lord has just made us all so different and that the world likes to cookie cutter, like highlight the best kind of attributes of a person, you know? Like everybody's always saying, be a leader, be a leader. Well, some people aren't leaders naturally, right? Why is that bad? No, <laughs> God didn't make them that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, or be decisive, be decisive. Well, some people aren't. Is that bad? No. Um, some people are not super confident. Is that bad? No. You know, there's always, 
there, there's the world is always saying this is the best attributes these are the best characteristics to have don't let people walk all over you you know like the world is not going to highlight meekness humility uh gentleness kindness the world is going to highlight things that are the opposite of what um the bible does and what the lord desires and instructs us in and yes some of those things come more natural to some than others Obviously, actions and behavior are super important, but the heart is even more important. Still, um, we are all different and we all have different characteristics, our personalities, strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, struggles, temptations. We're just all so different. And even the things we're good at, let's just focus on that for a second. The good things are strengths. They can be used for good or evil. They can be used for good in the spirit to glorify the Lord or in the flesh to glorify ourselves. And so I was just highlighting some of the boys' strengths and how God's made them in wonderful ways and examples of how they could use those strengths for the kingdom and examples on how they have probably fallen into using those strengths for themselves or in the in a worldly way that does not honor God. And that's going to be a battle forever for all of us, you know? So I just wanted to encourage you guys, like, think about your strengths. Think about the unique ways God has gifted you and made you. And think about how you can use those for the kingdom. And think about the lies we might be believing on how we should be using those for the world or for ourselves. And, you know, we're all going to battle that forever. Even if you can identify it, use it well, we're still going to stumble and use it in a fleshly way. Um again at some point and again after that you know that's not the point the point is look for those things that god has gifted you in and then truly truly strive to use them in a way that glorifies and honors him and that adds to the kingdom walk in the that strength in the spirit not in the flesh and when you fall and you do walk in that strength in the flesh repent get up and move forward you know you don't have to stay there um, and maybe you can share in the comments some of your strengths, God-given abilities, um, ooh, positive personality traits that God's given you, and how you have messed up and used them in the flesh, and how you've also seen God use them in you for the Spirit and for the Kingdom. Please share. So we're back home. We did not go intending to find that corner cabinet. I'm super happy because I was about to buy one on Marketplace, but it's an hour away and now we got one right there. It's a little darker than we wanted, but I think it'll still look really nice as a darker accent piece. And it's going to replace this corner cabinet that is just like where my broom is and the fly swatters. But I've got all this stuff going on now with my herbs and my tinctures and my um, salves and my candles and my whatever else I got going on that I really want a special designated spot for. So we'll be installing that hopefully soon.
very little tiny blueberry bush. <laughs> this is year two. Let's see how they do next year. That one's empty. Our muscadines are gonna give a lot this year. Get all those. It's delicious. And our elderberry, one of them. This is the easiest one to access. There's another one over there. And there's a few in the in the woods that I've located that I'll be watching and going to pick when they're ready, but this one's easy to get. It's all right here for me. One last stop, the blackberry bushes, and then I'll go in. Oh, and this is my fig tree. We bought this when we went to Mount Vernon, George Washington's home, and that was propagated at Mount Vernon, and I just get giddy thinking about it. It looks like it's going to live and be a very happy, successful tree. And if it is, we can say we have figs from George Washington's help land. It's pretty awesome. Hmm, this one got eaten. There's not much else to grab here. So this is kind of like snack for the walk home. <laughs> what a happy day. I'm going to go put this away. Start pulling out all of my supplies for my herbs and tinctures and candle making and all the stuff I'm getting into right now and getting it all prepared so that when Hector installs that cabinet for me, or really he just has to rip out the old cabinet and slide in the new one. I can fill it up and organize it. Pretty excited. Thanks for coming along with me today, you guys. God bless you and see you next time.